Hey, welcome to Rusty Judgment. We are currently selling our uh, black Ford Excursion. This is the replacement, a 1990 Ford Bronco. What? There's no problem with this. This is a better decision. <laughs> this is going on Rusty Judgment. Yeah. <laughs> What we're doing today is we're going to pressure wash this thing off, get it all cleaned up, and see uh, what's hiding underneath all this nasty scum. Uh, there's a few things that could go wrong here, which, I mean, there's always things that could go wrong, but it's uh, fairly ugly right now, and we're hoping that it looks nicer when we clean it off, but sometimes that's not the case. Sometimes when you get through all this uh, scum and years of neglect, it's actually worse so uh, we're gonna hope that it's not worse. All right, so in preparation for this video, I went and got me some good stuff. Here's the cheapest car wash cleaner I could find at the old Menards. I got me a, uh, oh, it's full of water. Smallest bucket they have too. I'm showing you guys this stuff because people are always trying to show you how nice the stuff they use. I just want you to see. Cheapest sponge they sell as well. All that, $3. Uh, this wasn't the cheapest. Bought me a Menard Special pressure washer, 2700 PSI. We're gonna rip the paint right off this thing. You guys wanna see what's under the hood of this thing? Why it's so special? Are you ready for it? There she is. Nothing. <laughs> Whole lot of nothing. Oh, oh, don't scratch the paint. All right, so this truck uh, we bought in Georgia. It has no engine. I mean, it has an engine. It's just not. It's just not in it. They're just in different locations. The engine was machined, bored out, and then just sat. It's a 351 Windsor, and now I've been building the engine in the garage. My sister-in-law was so kindly to have told me yesterday that, as I was unloading this, that our yard is looking kind of trashy. Is what she said. Yep, she said trashy. She must have meant because our vehicles are dirty. <laughs> So I'm gonna clean some of our vehicles, starting with this one, cause it's the worst, and make it look less trashy. So with the pressure washer, I'm gonna start out with the zero degree tip, because the zero degree tip is gonna be like, cause the least amount of damage, it's just like zero, so it's zero degrees, like it's not gonna do any degree of damage to the paint. So we're gonna start out with the zero degree tip, and then we're gonna work our way up to the 25 degree tip. <laughs> the zero, de zero degree tip. Don just asked me what that meant. Zero degree tip is like the harshest, oh. like it's like a dead straight, like you're gonna peel paint with it. Oh. We're gonna use that one. Okay, so we're not actually gonna use that one first. We are gonna use that one first. Okay. <laughs> Don's questioning my judgment. To me, it looks just like a whole lot of green scum. You see the back here, where this stops? That was a tarp covering the back half because the rear glass is broken. So all this is all from the weather, right here. And then this nice little clean strip, I got that while I drove home because I put a strap around the hood to keep the hood down because there's nothing holding the hood on. Go.
Yep, that uh, looks the same. <laughs> yep. Well, so far she's not uh, looking any better. Uh, I mean, I, I'm surprised, but I know I shouldn't be. Uh, we're not giving up yet. We're gonna keep cleaning it, and I have some of you tricks up my sleeves for some cheap ways to make this thing look better. Um, this is actually Gage's, that man. This is actually his Bronco. I had a truck a while back that he had wanted to be his when he grew up, and uh, I may have sold it. I mean, surprise, surprise. Corbin has his own truck already, so uh, this is yours, right? Yeah? Yeah. Does it okay. look better? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Does it? Yeah. What do you like the most about it? Mm, the wheels. <laughs> he likes big tires. Yeah. I mean, I didn't expect this thing to turn out like pristine or anything. It's an old Bronco. It's going to see the ditch and mud and all kinds of stuff. So the biggest thing about buying it where we bought it was all of this down here, all of the fender wells and the rockers underneath the doors, that's all like perfectly crystal clean. Like these Broncos rot out really bad around the drip edge over the door. And then once it starts rotting out there, it runs down inside this part and then it rots out at the bottom. That one's just barely starting the rust around the, the drip edge. So I'll address that and reseal that and get that so it doesn't continue. But where it all really counts on a Bronco, it's all clean. Like these wheels, these wheels are pretty much shot. So they're, they're steel chrome wheels, they're 15s. Um, but I don't know, like a lot of you, you probably don't have like a huge budget for like, oh, let's just put big new wheels on this thing while we're at it. I'm just gonna try and make these look a little better. We'll probably in the long run end up painting these rims. Um, but for now, we're just gonna try and clean them up so they look better. So, I mean, so our yard doesn't look so trashy. They're just rusty chrome wheels. And so what I did over here was, I cleaned this one up. I didn't take it off off the, the truck. If I take it off, I can get it better. But this is just taking a wire wheel on a drill and cleaning it. So it looks better from a distance, but like if you look up close, like it's all pitted up like this. Because it's metal, this will just start to rust again. So this is just a temporary fix. It's not any anything permanent by any means. We are gonna do the same thing back here on this one and on the other three, or the other two wheels too, so that um, it just looks a little nicer for now. So I'll show you how easy this is here, if I can capture it. It's cleaner, but these are so far gone, like this, this is just straight out all rust. There's no chrome left there. This will eventually all disappear too. So we're just gonna get them cleaned up as good as we can for now and then we'll take them off and we'll clean them the rest of the way. And then we'll end up painting these wheels. kind of hard to believe that in an hour, hour and a half, we went from that to that. I know it's not perfect yet, but it's coming along pretty good. I actually really like the flatness of this blue. I think it's a good look on the thing. The interior is totally full of parts. Like there's no front end engine or any of that. And the interior is just completely stuffed to the roof full of parts. Next time we'll go over, we'll dig through and find out what kind of treasures we find inside of this thing. And then I'll show you the engine because the engine's being put together in the garage right now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.